In this video, we're going to look at how we can factor out a binomial greatest common factor. At first, this process might seem a little odd, so to kind of introduce it, I want to start with a problem we're familiar with, 3ax minus 7bx. We see both of these factors have this x as a common factor. We'll pull that x out, and when we do, what's left, the 3a minus 7b, is what goes inside the parentheses, and we say it's factored. This pattern and process can work with any common factor, as long as it is the same on both factors, which means if I have a really absurd example, like 3 tulip smiley face, minus 7 heart smiley face, we notice that there is a common factor of smiley face on both expressions, on both terms. Smiley face, the common factor, comes out front, and what's left, 3 tulip, minus 7 heart, is what remains inside the parentheses. This is an absurd example, but it kind of illustrates how we find anything that's in common and pull it in front of the parentheses. Now for the example that we really care about in this video. You'll notice that in this problem, 3a times 2a plus 5b, minus 7b times 2a plus 5b, they both have 2a plus 5b in common. This is our common factor in parentheses, just like it is, that we need to factor in front of the next factor. What fills in the remaining factor is what's left after the 2a plus 5b's have been divided out. That would be 3a minus 7b, and now this expression is completely factored. We can factor out a binomial greatest common factor that's on both terms, leaving behind the 3a minus 7b for our final solution.